Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 33 of Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Stairway to the Destined Duel. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, I decided to put together an insect deck, well, to the best of my ability, so now we're gonna take on this type limitation challenge. Insect monsters only, magic and traps are not restricted, there we go. Same old deal. Okay, let's go. Technically, it looks like I'm facing Weevil, so I have nothing to worry about. Uh, I think I should summon Killer Needle in attack mode. There's not many high-powered insects. I was trying to get a Gerochen Kuwagata, because I got 1,700 attack points. But sadly, I had no luck. I don't think I could find it in any uh, booster pack that I got. Yet, anyway. Really? Couldn't leave one monster there, yeah? Pathetic. Uh, I only got one monster in my hand that can handle the Okabori, and that's cool. I got an A. So I'll destroy it. There, problem solved. For now. Not long bringing it back, eh? Huh, fair enough. Ooh, this is gonna be nice. Bring in my Jirai Gut Gumo. I don't know if I'll attack with this monster because if I bet wrong in a game of heads versus tails, I'll lose half my life points and then get to attack. I can use him for stalling. Because right now, 2200 attack points is a lot for a 4 star monster. Ah, uh, Parasite, Parasite. I better hope I don't draw this card. Let's see, I got a uh, Hercules Beetle and Kua got an A. This is gonna be convenient. So I'll play Polymerization. And fuse them together to bring in Quagar Hercules. Then I'll summon Kamakiri Man in attack mode. Worst case scenario, one of them is a man-eater bug. Ugh, needle worm. That's even worse. Well, technically not, but it does cost me a lot of good cards. Layfly, we got an A, Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, Magic Jammer. Uh, should I risk half my life points? Let's do it. Heads. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, I'll end my turn. Ah, swords are feeling light. That's what I could have used that magic jammer for. Oh, I guess I'll have to use Heavy Storm then. And then I'll sacrifice my Jirai Gumo. No, a Kamakiri Man, actually. To bring in Empress Mantis. So far, I'm on the right track. Another Parasite Parasite, but it can't activate. Um, Tails this time. At least I still get to attack. Could have been worse. Yeah, right, I'll summon Cockroach Knight in attack mode. Dark Ray, that's not an insect. 
There, I win! Okay, that one was a little easier than expected. Due to the opponent I had. Next examination will be limited to the use of monsters at 4 star level or below. Okay, I'm pretty sure I can handle that. Oh, oh now I get a Garochin Kuwagata! Bullshit! Could've used that sooner! Okay, let me look around to see where I can find the uh, four star limit duel. Be right back. Okay, after a little bit of rooting around, it turns out the low level duel is here. I would normally use the deck that I originally used, but this time, cards like Summon Skull and Blue Eyes White Dragon are taken out and replaced by monsters of four stars or lower. Let's go. Limitation for this stage, 4 star level or below, blah blah blah, there we go. So if I win this, I'll definitely get a lot of low level cards. I wonder how many. Alright, my move. I only got one monster out of it. So I'll play Nobleman of Crossout to remove this monster from play. And there was a mechanical snail. Alright, I'll play Pot of Greed to draw two cards. Line Destruction. Uh, what does that do? During your standby phase, roll one die, destroy any monsters whose level is equal to the number rolled. If the number is six, destroy all level six or higher monsters. Ooh, I don't think I want that around. I'm gonna play Mystical Space Typhoon to destroy it. Because that could cause me a lot of problems. I'll summon Mechanical Chaser with an Axe of Despair equipped. Now I should do a lot of damage. Okay, I'll place these two cards face down. Call it a turn. Your move. That's it. Okay, then I'll summon Dynamis Dark Witch in attack mode. Man, you're a bog crap. Yeah, I figured you would do that. No. Another face down card. Alright, then I'll play Delinquent Duo. Take out two cards from your hand. Now what were they? Giant Germ and Battle Steer. Wait... That's over four stars! Alright. Every opponent I duel doesn't seem to go by the rules or the limitations- ANOTHER MANATOR BUG! Seriously now? Let me guess, that's that's gotta be the third man of your bug. I bet you it is. I'll summon Sang into the field. If that's another man of your bug, I'm gonna be pissed. Bubonic Vermin. Oh dear. That must be its ability. You can take one Bubonic Vermin card from your deck and special summon it in the field and face down defense position and shuffle the deck. Okay, so he saved himself from damage for the next turn. Huh. Let's see. Seeing as how I know that's a Kubanic Vermin, I might as well take out this card. No way, I targeted the wrong one. Graceful Dice? Ah, you only got a one. How pathetic. For some reason in this game, you should not press any buttons during the entire, well, dice roll. Because you might glitch the game. So apparently the Bubonic Vermin was the other card. Hmm. You know... Should I... Nah, Sangin's helping me out a little bit. So I'll use Mirror Force. 
Goblin Attack Force, however, could be quite an asset. In fact, maybe if I save my Mirror Force then... Then again, it's not like I would have known I'd drawn it. Damn. You know what? I think we better I not let Goblin Attack Force attack. Otherwise, it'd be a sitting duck. Giant soldier of stone, eh? Eh, whatever. Now, let's see what to add to my hand. Probably go with, say... A uh, penguin soldier. So, man-eater bug was quite tempting. Well, that was unexpected. Go me. Then again, this is not professional dueling. I only play just for fun. So I don't care what suggestions you have on how I could have done better. I would have played the way I want anyway. Actually, I don't think it matters. You can't even attack with it. What? Oh. You mean that resets when it comes back to you? Well, it's gonna go back to my hand. Unbelievable. I thought you couldn't attack. Alright, let me just go into a little bit of defense for now. How do you manage to get monsters every draw? I don't get it. Alright, I think I should summon Gear Free the Iron Knight. And Man Eater Bug, why don't you target. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, us for this one. What did I hit? Ah, Penguin Soldier. Good choice. Good choice. The last Bubonic Vermin. Wow. I think it had to come to that. Really? Every turn, you got a monster! Hmm... It wouldn't hurt to bring in Jirai Gumo. Besides, damage is damage. Ah, uh, I don't think it's worth the risk. I have a very high-powered monster. Tails. I'll go with Tails. Yeah, I got lucky! Okay, this is not helping me at all. It's really making the duel longer than it should be. Oh, finally a turn without a set or a summon. Okay, I'll summon Legin in attack mode. Since I know Nibble Momongas have weak defense, well actually it doesn't matter, every one of my monsters is a minimum of 1800 attack points on the field. And heads. Damn! I'll have to forfeit half of my life points. Very weird to have your life points ending in a five, but that's the way it goes. All right, then I'll play a change of heart and finish this right now. That ah, was a crawling dragon number two. Ah, just for the hell of it. Tails. Damn it! 
Now my life points ends in 8. 1538, what a weird number. Next examination will be limited to the use of monster cards with attacks of less than a thousand? Oh dear god. This is going to be interesting to say the least. Okay, I'll stop the video right here and next part I'll be dueling with monsters of less than a thousand attack points. See ya.